Hi, my name's Julie. If anybody doesn't know me, I'm 51. I've got spina bifida, scoliosis. I was born disabled. Um, recently had a heart attack, so at the moment I was looking for a hobby. And my passion is beauty and skincare products. So I've started to do a review. I do a review page on Instagram. I'll put the link in the description for you. So yesterday I went shopping and I bought some new products which I'd like to go through with you because I think some of them are really good and I've not heard of them before. Right, the first product I bought is an eyeshadow palette and it's by The Body Crop and it's called Espresso With Love. Um, loads of gorgeous shades, highly pigmented comes with a mirror in the case as well. Um, why I purchased this eyeshadow palette was because it fascinated me really, because all the eyeshadows, I've got a coffee extract in them, which I've never seen before in makeup. So I was really, really good. The shades, they are, you can, some of them are matte shades, some of them are shimmery. It starts from neutral gold, pinks, darker pinks right up into the burgundy colours. So as you can see, there's quite a, a lot there. There's 21 shades actually. Um, the coffee extract, why they put the coffee extract in it is because it's supposed to reduce puffiness and tiredness around the eyes. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying that. So once I've tried it later, I will be doing a video of me applying these eyeshadows so we can have a look then what they look like. Um, so yeah, I was really impressed with this. I've not even heard of the body crop before, but they have got a website. So I will put a link down to that. Um, the eyeshadows are rich, um, highly pigmented, um, and they do have coffee extract and anti antioxidants in them. So I'll let you know how I get on with those. Um, the second item I bought yesterday was an eye mask from Space Masks. Now, I like really, I like using eye masks, especially when I'm in the bath, I find them relaxing. But this one, it apparently, when you apply it to your eyes, it heats up. So I'm really interested to see actually what that's like. So I will try it, obviously, when I'm in the bath and let you know um, and see if it does heat up. It's supposed to help um, relax your eyes, help with the eye strain, um, eye puffiness. Um, if, you, if you're on the computer a lot and you get a lot of eye strain, these are recommended. So you leave it on your eye for 15 minutes. So that is Space Masks and it's from Space Masks. God, I can't speak. Spacemasks.com. So I'll let you know how I get on with that. Um, I also bought a lip mask. Right, I've previously tried lip masks and the ones I've had, they like literally cover half of my face. I don't know if I've got a small face. So I'm hoping this next one I've bought will actually just cover my lips. Um, it's a lip mask and it's by... It, it's by... Vita masks. It's to limp, uh, to plump and repair my lips. It can, it contains hyaluronic acid and collagen booster. So I'm quite looking forward to trying that. So I'll be sitting in the bath with my eye mask on and my lip mask on. So if you go to my Instagram page, you'll probably see photographs of me wearing these products. I also bought from Glam Glow some brightening eye cream. I love eye creams, um, especially when you get over 51, you do tend to get a lot of fine lines around the eye area. But luckily, because I've been using a lot of eye treatments and reviewing them and testing them, all my fine lines have gone. So I've been, re so they do work ladies. So I really do invest in them. So the Excuse my parrot, he's squawking in the background. So what I bought is called Glam Glow and it's called Brightening Cream. So if I tell you a bit about it, you apply it all just around the gently, 
all around these areas and also you can apply it on the top um just pat it in around the eyes you know you've got to be really gentle with that skin oh i've got a slight little eye bag coming now which i'm really aware of so i'm trying everything at the moment to just try and remove that little just little puffiness there um so we'll try this and see if it works i will let you know ladies also on my instagram page i'll do a review on there about it as well um big fan of lip liners i do use a lot of lip liners i do do my lips myself i use the uh, hyaluron gun so i do fill my lips myself i do them about once a month and i did used to get them done properly with lip filler but it's so expensive so i bought the hyaluron pen tried it really easy to use i've had no problems with it whatsoever what i put in my lips are hyaluronic acid which your body dissolves anyway so even if you were just to make a slight error it will dissolve back into your body um so i do like to you know emphasize my lips with a lip liner the one i bought, bought yesterday was from lord and berry it's red um take the lid off it's quite a soft crayon so when you do apply it to your lips it's not sharp it doesn't drag your lips so you can apply it you know it's really really easy to apply i like wearing reds that's what it looks like on i don't know if you can see very well it's like a dark red it's not um it's not like a really rich red it's like a, it's a dark red so that will be all right once obviously i put my lipstick on as well so that's by lord and berry i also bought some blusher by beauty i can never pronounce some of these names that they come up with beauty arno beauty it's a pink blush. Like I said in my previous videos, I don't usually wear blusher because I, I just don't, I don't think it looks right on my face. So I've tried this because it's supposed to be a really light, um, natural looking blusher. So I will try it and apply it and see how I get on with it. Um, and then I'll do a review on Instagram if anybody wants to see my review and the pictures. So that was, that's called Pink Flamingo. So I'm hoping it is natural. Otherwise, I'll be chucking it <laughs> or giving it away. But I will try it and see how I do get on and I will let you know. Um, I also bought some, because I'm a team leader in a dementia home. Obviously, I do a lot of care with my hands. My hands get dry. Constantly have to take gloves on and off. And when I wear gloves, I do get itchy hands. So I do wear a lot of hand creams. So I bought this rose hand cream by, it's called Anatomicals. Um, they're quite witty with their comments on the bottle. So I like the packaging and I like the comments they come up with. Um, I'll show you the texture. So it's quite creamy. It smells lovely actually, it smells of roses. And it's really soft on your hands, so we'll be using that. What I'll do, I'll keep that in my handbag at work. Oh, yeah, it smells, it smells really nice. You, I don't know if you as a kid, I did as a kid, used to collect um, rose, pottle, rose petals and then put them in a jar and fill it with water and then leave it for a couple of weeks. And then the, <laughs> the thinking I was trying to make my own perfume as a kid. And then... Um, it would really smell strong of rose petals well that's what that that meant that just took me back to that memory actually yeah it just smell of rose petals so i hope you enjoyed having a look at what i bought yesterday if you like what i do what i talk about please follow and subscribe please support me be kind i'm all new to this so give me a chance anyway i'll speak to you soon bye